I get the feeling this is gonna be one of those cases where it's nearly impossible to have a fair fight. Look, we all know the executioner. He's got an ax that's the size of a car door. He literally kills people for a living. But that thing makes even Darth Maul look about as dangerous as a shopping mall. I'm not really sure how his butt cheeks are gonna be dexterous enough to swing those rear swords, but I'm very interested in finding out. Oh, it's actually throwing them? Uh, okay. Yeah, safe to say I did not see that coming. What in the sweet neon Christ is happening? What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, that game that like many others is plagued with clickbait on YouTube. So when I get a bunch of comments and tweets from people saying that there are new secret units in the game, and yet the Steam store page says that the game hasn't been updated in months, I just tend to assume that's because you know, people are gullible on the internet, and that usually is the case, but it seems like this time around, I was partially wrong. There are new secret units, it's just that they're a mod, a very well-made mod, and I gotta say, mods for tabs have changed a lot since I saw them last. You know, ever since they introduced the unit creator, mods kind of fell by the wayside, but it used to be that they were distributed in like a drop box, which was not only difficult for people to find, but also like kind of sketchy, unreliable. But now they've got like a public website, everything is looking all professional, they're doing things that can't be done regularly in the game. And like, I'm gonna leave credit to the people who worked on this mod, and if you wanna get some tabs mods, I'll leave a link in the description. I'm sure they would love to have more people playing with their stuff. Now the thing about secret units is that well, they're usually secret, so they're very difficult to find, but in this case, I went to the first map and have been met by a uh, vomit sparkler. <laughs> I would assume you want to come with me. Hello? Ooh. Come on, big guy. I, I know you have to be a secret unit. I can't get much closer. Like, I I'm clearly in the splash zone here. <laughs> what is happening? What? Oh. Okay. Are we about to get weak old Taco Bell leftovers? What could cause this? Oh, it's a witch doctor. Well, that's different. So on the one hand, this guy can't see where he's going. His big dumb googly eyes have been blocked out, which is actually kind of intimidating. On the other hand, he's got a bag full of flowers on a stick, which is much less intimidating, but I'm not gonna rule out the possibility that that thing could summon more perpetual puke poles. I kind of want to have it face off against the native cavemen, but it's leading to a bit of a moral dilemma because I'm dressed to root for blue team today, but I've got the hair and beard of red team. So who do we root for? Like, I, I think I'm just going to root for blue team to do something cool and for red team to not get food poisoning. I, I don't really care who wins. I just want a good show of things. So what was all of that grass flatulence? Okay, he, uh, he converted a bunch of them? Or possessed them? Yeah, he's, he's got a whole bunch of guys fighting for him. It's a good thing that he's got his face covered because he can't see the beating he just got. Okay, he definitely died there, but even then he didn't lose because the army keeps on going. It's like a zombie virus. You know, the cavemen, they barely wear a little square fabric over their nuts. Good luck making them wear a mask. The Unga Bunga crowd are actually pretty lightweight, so I'm wondering what would happen if we had bigger units? Would he be able to possess something like the knight? No. So it is dose dependent. If you can get units with more strong moral fiber, then they can close the distance and, well, Treat him like a semi-naked blind man holding a flower bag. Well, now that we know that size matters and we've seen what they can do to the smallest members of the tribe, let's get the thickest member of the tribe out there, see what Snuffy can do. Can he manage to get by? They actually are summoning the puke poles. I didn't see that before. Oh, yeah, uh, that Snuffy is dead? He's got the crossed out eyes, but okay, so the possession actually kills them and then takes control of their body. That is super creepy. 
Well, after looking around for far longer than I care to admit, I think it's safe to say that the Witch Doctor was an outlier. The rest of these units may be a little tricky to find. There is one on your screen right now. Do you see it? Because I sure didn't for the longest time. It's something over here? I don't really know what that is. It looks like a paper clip. Clippy? Oh, no, it's a gatherer. Oh, it's a sling. And they've even got a little bag full of rocks around their neck because they clearly don't have pockets in those loincloths. <laughs> I know a lot of the time modded units are, are like really over the top. Like not everything needs to be a mechanized flying Loch Ness monster that does calculus. Like sometimes I just want to be able to throw rocks. I see something like this that fits into the game so well and can't help but wonder, why wasn't this in tabs already? It looks like the Gatherer is actually the cheapest ranged unit in this game. They only cost 80, and the next closest thing is, funny enough, the Spear Thrower. So we're gonna have a little 1v1 to see who is deserving of the final roster spot on the Tribal Faction. Who's gonna take the cheap ranged slot? And it's gonna be fair money. 720 versus 720, even though it's 6 versus 9. I hope that all these rocks are gonna make a difference or impact, guys, you gotta hit them at least once. There we go. <laughs> right between their big dumb eyes. Oh, they are definitely tabs units. How were you guys more blind than the last guy? He had a friggin' face curtain. Maybe they just need a target that's so big they can't possibly miss, right? You could close your eyes and throw the rock. You'd still be able to bounce it off him okay yeah that could be a problem you guys can't technically win based off of bruised nipples no matter how big they are much prefer cardiac arrest could you put a little bit of elbow grease into it there you go listen i'm not gonna claim to be some kind of history biologist or dinosaur biologist but i am concerned with your stature sir <laughs> Did you already eat a gatherer before we started? You're supposed to chew. I'm really sorry, Chonkosaurus, but we need hungry dinosaurs for this experiment. And like I was trying to say, I'm by no means an expert in the field, but I'm pretty sure that slings used to be used for hunting, not for warfare. So how about we have our gatherers try to gather up a little bit of dinosaur meat? and not become food in the process. I dare say they are going to have a hard time surviving the toothy tidal wave. Yeah, those raptors are quick, but not smart. Okay. So, I mean, some of our guys are definitely going to become blue dinosaur poop, but the survivors are going to breed and eventually allow their genetics to become us. Well, I haven't been able to find anything else of interest in prehistoric times, but here in the medieval age, there's something glowing on the ground. It's got a cool mask next to it as well. What are you gonna be? A Templar, okay. As much as I would love to let this Templar make a hobbit slurry, I think instead we're gonna have the Jarl square off against him because they're about the same size, same price. Should be a decent 1v1. It's just a metal axe versus the sun. Uh, whoa, okay, yeah, we've got ice, we've got fire, we've got a whole lot happening, and an around the back bum smack ends up winning it for the red team. What did the Templar just do? You know what, I take it back. I do want the Hobbit slurry because it looked like the Templar just pulled a, a bit of a Dr. Octopus. He created a tiny star. So if we could have all of these idiots get sucked into it, then I would be pretty happy. Whoa. It, it's like it just pushes Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'll never get used to seeing them get used like little fuzzy-footed golf balls. Damn, that was cool. I don't know what to call this thing. It's almost like it's a white hole. You know, black holes suck things in, white holes push things away. Why are all my Sarissas doing pirouettes? What? I don't know what is going on with my game today, but I just wanted a tight formation to react to this thing coming down. It, it, it looks like it just kind of pushes all of the units away, gives the Templar time to tee up those who are dumb enough to get close to him. This thing is wicked. 
<laughs> the sound of it is just so good. Yeah, lie down. If you could put yourself on a tiny stick, it would really make it easier to get to par three. Well, it's not exactly glowing or puking, but it definitely stands out. Yeah, I was gonna say, I've played a lot of tabs, like probably more than anybody else, to be perfectly honest. So when I see something like the bishop, I can't help but wonder what is he doing? All right, I'll be the first to admit, I'm not really up to date on my church tier list, because we've always had priests. Is a bishop just a priest who prestiged? I want this guy to show us what he's really made of, so I'm gonna give him a bit of an advantage. We'll have him face off against the worst sinners in tabs. These are the murderers, the adulterers, fans of the Ottawa Senators, the typical peasants. And I would imagine he will do his best to contact Jesus, who's currently in orbit and preparing an ion cannon strike? What is this? <laughs> Don't tell me you're a support unit and I should have had something else here. Oh no, he's managing to kill some of them. I don't know what they're dying of though. Shame? Because it really seems like they're just feeding him knuckle sandwiches. He's getting punched in his holy face. <laughs> Dude, how many times are you gonna get leveled before you stay down? They keep going down and not getting back up, but he does. What, what is happening right now? Oh, he's bonking him on the head with his crucifix. Okay. Yeah, that's one way of going about it. Not sure the big guy upstairs would really appreciate, but a win's a win. Well, he was clearly trying to do something other than bonk people with his funny looking stick. So how about we give him a flock to look over? That way, he should be able to have a bit more of an impact. Is that an area of effect heal? Because that would be pretty nuts. It would help if I had their health bars turned on, come to think of it, but we can just assume, let's be honest, if these squires are getting beaten on like this and they survive, which they are somehow, there's no way. Having their brains rattle around in that bucket, they would have dropped long ago. Okay, so he's a really strong area of effect heal. I guess some of the units, if they get outside that circle, then they're not gonna get healed and they drop, but I think every squire that's been inside has survived, and they're doing a whole lot of work. That's a really interesting unit, because it, it gives you incentive to protect him. It's an entirely support unit. If you can protect your bishop, then you can protect everybody. Again, I don't understand why Tabs doesn't have a giant area of effect healing unit. you think that would be something they would've put in a long time ago. As much as I would love to continue testing God's willingness to help me commit war crimes, I have to see what exactly this purple lightsaber is. That is what I'm looking at, right? It's double-sided, so did we just get Darth Maul? Oh no, the Ignis Slasher. We've seen something like this before, haven't we? <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, this thing used to be called the Igni Slayer, and it had fire swords. Now it's got like, Hellfire swords, and a lot of them. I also gotta take a quick second to appreciate the attention to detail here, because when you summon it, it actually turns on all of its swords, all eight of them, four of which are attached to his back? I can't wait to see how that's gonna work. I get the feeling this is gonna be one of those cases where it's nearly impossible to have a fair fight. Look, we all know the Executioner. He's got an axe that's the size of a car door. He literally kills people for a living. But that thing makes even Darth Maul look about as dangerous as a shopping mall. I'm not really sure how his butt cheeks are gonna be dexterous enough to swing those rear swords, but I'm very interested in finding out. Oh. It's actually throwing them? Uh, okay. Yeah, safe to say I did not see that coming. What in the sweet neon Christ is happening? <laughs> I think blue won, but how? Do you see what I mean though? The executioners had the numbers advantage, they had the money advantage, they just didn't have the coolness advantage. And speaking of coolness, we could always try 
two ice giants. I would just use one, but ooh, yeah, I think one of them is gonna need to go to a doctor. Do you smell toast? Because <laughs> that's uh, not supposed to be there. Oh, they're actually like kind of slowing him down. I don't know if the frost breath is hitting him or if he's just a little off put by the fact that there are gigantic balls being rubbed up against his shoulders. Okay, yeah, he still won handedly. What else could we even use against him? Like, there's so many options, but I think we just need to go with a wobbly stampede. Yeah, when in doubt, just send in all the horses. That's a lot of money worth of horses. If he can survive this, I'm gonna be just dumbfounded. <laughs> he should just stomp all, st I was about to say stomp all, all over. That's a wobble and a stomp, but nope. They still got slap chopped. Didn't we get horse puree? This thing is so friggin' strong. I think we need to throw things back to the beginning of the episode. What if we get the witch doctor to possess this thing? Or turn it against itself? It's kind of like Cupid, but without the love. Or, or better yet, we could have it turn against its halfling friends. <laughs> These hobbits like to think they've gotten the better of me with their dickish shape, but no, no, no. I'm sure we have enough to administer a big enough dose unless he can deflect. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, guys. These flatulent tiki torches are not gonna get the job done. Can we maybe at least turn the hobbits? No. They've quarantined those who've been converted and now they're parading the corpses. Great. Why are hobbits so cleanly? Damn it. I hate it when the hobbits get the better of me. I should not have trusted them with this kind of power. It's only a matter of time until they went and ruined my fun. Damn it, this thing is just unstoppable. He's even literally charring the bodies of my units because they're igni blades. I really just want to see this thing die, so we're going to use the, all the strong units. Uh, Tree Giant, Ice Giant, Artemis, we get Shogun, we get Sensei, Lady Red Jade. That's really all the best secret units in the game that haven't been introduced with this mod against one unit. So he, he's going to get tornadoed, he's going to get shot with stars and arrows and whacked with a giant broccoli and, and breathed on and doesn't seem to care. Yeah, he, he activated the, the tornado and okay, we won. We did it. So I, I'm guessing that like neon spin is like a, a last ditch effort. Once he's taken enough damage, he tries to wipe everything out immediately or be done with it. Good to know. All right, you know what I think? That's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And I gotta say, I'm super happy that there's just a bunch of cool, new, interesting stuff to cover in this game. Like, not only all of these secret units, there's more of them to find, but also, like, that custom faction with pebbles that I downloaded last time, and all these other mods. Like, to the people who upload stuff to the workshop and to make mods, and are constantly reinvigorating tabs year after year, you're doing a huge service to the community and to this game. Like, this wouldn't be played anymore if it wasn't for you people. I honestly think tabs would have gotten boring a long, long time ago, so thank you. And if you guys are playing tabs and you want to spice things up, use the link in the description, go download some of these mods, support the modders, or if you want to see me play more, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to find something even stronger than this was. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.